Greta? Step forward, please. She's in trouble for sure. That will be a first. My darling, tonight we're going to celebrate your birthday. And in keeping with tradition, we are going to honor you with an evening around the campfire. We'll have a great time. Mr. Ignatius will play his acoustic guitar. And to make sure we'll all enjoy this wonderful evening, we'll all take a nice nap after lunch. Oh. Ah, tut, 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 tut. I know you're a little bit old for naps, but we absolutely have to take one to get the most out of the evening. Some birthday party feels more like punishment than enjoyment. Well, I say, we organize a birthday party for Greta ourselves. You mean a surprise party? Shh! I think that we should do it while all the grown-ups are napping like little babies. Maybe the Flupaloo could come. It would be a wonderful gift for Greta. That'd be awesome! An exclusive interview with the King of the Forest by Matt, the great reporter. We don't care about that. The important thing is to dress up for the surprise party. Uh, sure, but the problem is that the noise is going to wake up the grown-ups. Oh, don't worry about it. Lisa and I will make sure Ignatius and the others don't get in our way. Impossible missions are our specialty. Right, cuz? Uh, Lisa, please. Okay. We're on it. Oh, there you are. Shh. Hey, listen up, kids. I think it would be fun if we set up a little surprise for Greta. What do you say, huh? Yoo-hoo, are you asleep? What do you think she would like? What if we gave her a four-leaf clover? A good luck charm. Great idea. Everybody look through the grass. Whoever finds one first won't have to do dishes. Okay, all right. Boy, oh boy, how are we gonna get rid of all the adults during nap time? Well, I have a plan. Using this blowpipe, we stuff both of their ears with wax balls, and then they become deaf as bats. Did you say wax balls? Like the ones that Squeak's eating right now? <coughs> ah! Squeak! Come back here! Oh! I get the prize! What game are you playing? Oh! Uh, oh, it's not a game. I I just lost my earrings, that's all. Yes, that's it. Pretty dumb, huh? <laughs> like the ones you're wearing? Oh! You found them! Thanks, Greta, you're sweet. Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> Okay, decorations set. Music set. Keeping grown-ups away. Hmm? Matt, Lisa. Uh, yeah, we're super set. <sighs> I ran into Greta. <sighs> Good thing I'm sharp as a tack. By the way, you could warn people when you go off. Hey, listen, we have a much better idea. Why don't we all disguise ourselves tonight? Great idea. Let's do a sewing workshop. Hey, don't you think it would be better if we all got disguised on our own? That way it'll be a big surprise. You guys are little geniuses. Off I go. <sighs> yeah, way cool. Oh, Lisa, there must be a way to keep all those grown-ups away. What if we knock them all out while they're asleep? Mm, a bit extreme, don't you think? <sighs> We're done for. Secret party, the tale of a bitter defeat. <sighs> the Flupaloo could probably help ah! us, but... Uh, 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 Matt, you're completely covered with ants. I know, thank you. Help me, it tickles. Uh, uh, just don't panic. <sighs> don't worry, we're here to help you. Your recorder's got a screw loose. Not at all. You've got it all wrong, my dear. Come on, hurry up. Wait, I think the ants are talking. Bravo! <laughs> You've won the jackpot! <gasps> Matt! This is incredible! The ants are communicating with us through radio! That's great! Now, can you tell them my underwear isn't a football stadium? Hey, hurry up! I think we're gonna get caught. Talking to yourself, Malik? Greta! 
No, well, yes, actually. I was just trying to remember an old proverb from Mali. Um, hurry up and milk the cow uh, before the crocodile takes a nap. Uh, otherwise, the hunter's arrow will be as soft as, uh, well, a uh, oh, hippo's behind. <laughs> ah, the wisdom of the Malian people. Whoa, later, Malik. Yeah, that's right, later. <sighs> Wow, is it true you really know the flute balloon? Sure thing, girly. <laughs> Your friend has a problem. Are they gone? Are you sure? L look again. Don't worry, Matt. They're all gone. Oh, he's very emotional, you see? Humans are like that, you know. The bigger they are, the dumber they are. <laughs> we're smaller, but we're more clever. <sighs> oh, really? Well, maybe you can give us a hand, then. Ah, oh, that's better. Oops. Don't forget the party this afternoon. Oops. Ready for the party, guys? Oops. The party's for... Huh? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Uh, nothing, nothing. I was just saying how artsy you look, Greta. People sure are acting strange today. Hey, kids, it's time for your nap. All clear, guys. My costume's ready. Uh, oh, cool. We'll take a look after the nap, okay? Oh, the best moment of the day. Tell you when the coast is clear. Okay. She should be along any second now. I'm not so sure about this. I'd be surprised if. Huh? Uh. Ready, willing, and able. We're at your service, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice nap, kids. We'll see you after the party. After this game, I think you can be satisfied with the result, right? That was just perfect. Thanks for your help. Oh, it's just a neighborly thing to do. <gasps> uh, Lisa, there's a little problem. I invited a few friends for you. Man, party crashers, I don't believe it. Well, you know, it is kind of thanks to them we're having the party. Wait a minute, don't tell me you're gonna let them join in. Only if they promise to behave themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Greta, are you ready? Happy birthday, Greta!
for my birthday, okay? No problem. You go back now. We'll put everything away. All right, you can come out. Uh, Lisa, I don't think you should stay there. <laughs> it was very pleasant spending this time with all of you. Thank you for your invitation. Goodbye, and see you very soon on the same station. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Huh? Congratulations on your little party. We had a great time. Signed the Flupalo? He, he was, was here. here? I missed the best scoop ever. Hey there, Flupalo! Thank you! Next time we'll exchange phone numbers! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Bravo! Come on, children. Let's encourage the musician. Costume, Annette. Thank you. The children gave me the idea. They are so creative. You wonder where they get it all. Hey, you're not invisible. Okay, so what's the good news? Ta da! Wow, awesome. 7G Smart Pads, serious power. Blaze Ox ZR3. Wow. Uploads to the rain cloud. Wow. HD. Wow. Granite Corners. Wow. Zinport. What? Zoutport. What? And a touch screen. Wow. Nothing's happening. Hmm. <laughs> Why isn't it working? Well, it works just fine for me. Hey! My turn! <laughs> it works with my nose. So it's hands-free. That's cool. The neighbor! He wants to borrow the lawnmower! You go! He can't see me like this! Hello! Yeah, right. The lawnmower. Gilbert! Yo-hoo-hoo! It The keys to the garage? Oops. Sorry, I guess I forgot. Hello! <laughs> <clears throat> the keys to the garage, of course. <laughs> Here we go, after you. He didn't even notice I had a smart pad stuck on my snout. In fact, he couldn't care less whether I exist or not. <laughs> ah! I'm invisible. Get a grip. That stone face only sees what's in the mirror. Even if you went with a banana and a pair of undies on your head, he wouldn't notice. The instruction manual. In 12 languages. And a free whistle. Well, uh, bye then. Drop it, would ya? Out of the question! Just how far will this go?
I'm invisible. You're not assertive enough. Instead of screaming out, I exist, everything about you whispers, excuse me, I'm in your way. That's nonsense. Come on, we're going to get your money back. Are you nuts? They'll never agree. Hey there, techie freaks! Shh, a little courtesy. No, all right already. <laughs> hey, you see there's a line here? It's all right. Go, explain to him good manners. I don't mean to be rude, but um, I was first. Listen, line jumper. He was here before you. Back of the line, dude. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you. Next! Oh. Knock him cold. My brand new smart pad has a defect. Actually, you see, it really only works whenever I use my, my snout. This one. Ah, using your snout, that's the problem. It's digital, not snoutital. You lose. Who's there? Salesman's apologies and a lifetime supply of screen wipes. Want an ice cream to celebrate my new smart pad? Oh, okay. Why'd you move aside? Uh. Why didn't that guy move out of the way to let you go by? I don't know. I didn't ask him. How do you expect people to ever notice you if you don't stand up to them? Impose your will! Watch this. No, let me. I'm the great human. Move out of the way, do you hear? Come on, I've got better things to do. Hubert has a very busy schedule. Hubert is somebody quite important. Hubert doesn't move aside for anyone, especially jerkweeds like you! Now, what is my name? What is my name? Hubert. Sometimes, being discreet may also be a sign of intelligence. Yes, except intelligence is invisible. Well, at least this time, people will notice you. Hey, Mommy! It's the Invisible Man! Welcome to this week's episode of Wild Animal Anachronisms. Today, we will visit the far inner reaches of Africa. Life at 147 years for an elephant means one thing. It has to end. Instinctual laws, thousands of years old, state that when an elephant reaches the age of 147 years, it must take the long journey back to the secret burial grounds of its ancestors. <laughs> Oh. oh, silly dentures. That reminds me, I'd better pick up another tube of adhesive before my trip. Oh! oh. <laughs> to finally be free from the pain of this arthritis. <laughs> Jumbo, I'm ready to come home. Put the coffee on for me. How does this elephant know where the ancient burial grounds are? 
Maybe it's some DNA homing instinct encoded in her genes. Is it instinct, a higher force, or just plain luck that plays a part in Ethel making the right choice for dinner? Would you like chicken or beef for dinner? Lacto-ovo for me, please. Just what do you think you're doing? I just got those back from the dry cleaners. What do you have to say for yourself? Grounds. They're, they're gone. Ah, oh, well, I guess this living room is as good a place as any. I'll just sit here on the couch and wait. <sighs> Even the couch gets to go before me. The large earthling does not look very happy. No, bud. It seems this pachyderm has come here to die. Poor dear. I don't think she's leaving till she dies. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me a five-ton animal has broken in downstairs? And it is her intention to die right there in the living room? Do you know what this means? Let me see. Well, at the standard rate of decomposition, taking into consideration atmospheric conditions such as moisture levels, temperature fluctuations, fly and subsequent maggot infestations, my calculations suggest that we'd better get a lot of air fresheners, gas masks, and garbage bags. We've got to get rid of her. Why, she'll smell up the house. Have you ever tried to get the smell of pachyderm dust out of a carpet? We've got to do something! Yes, and the smell will certainly attract unwanted attention, possibly exposing us to discovery. You're right, Candy. This mammal must go. The mammoth must go. I have a plan. Here we have my transference transmitter, patent pending. <clears throat> With this device, any one of us can appear on the television screen as if our image were being broadcast over the actual TV station. Here, let me show you. Oh. So, we simply replace the elephant's remote control with the transference device. And one of us transforms into a television personality to convince her to get up and out of this house. Groovy! So, who wants to go first? I think we have a volunteer! <laughs> Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a. It's a bar three. This should be interesting. Come on, friends. Life ain't so bad. Have a pizza and enjoy yourself. Mm -mm. One of these is just what you need to kickstart your life. I've lived long enough to see everything change from good to bad. Crime rates have soared, global warming, catastrophes of every kind, earthquakes, flooding, and not to mention the poverty. Oh, millions of starving people. <sighs> What's the point in kick-starting that? I think we need a new approach. She needs the influence of someone she respects. I've got it! Tarzan! 
all animals listen to the Lord of the Jungle. <laughs> ah, the jungle. The stress-free jungle. There's no place like it on Earth. No worries for the rest of your life. Oh, don't tell me about the jungle. I've been there. I've seen the deforestation, the strip mining for gold. I swam in mercury-poisoned streams. You swam in mercury-poisoned streams? How do you think I got these bumps on my head? Spray your zoo with plenty of hairspray. Don't worry about the ozone, folks. We have a brand new line of sun protection creams out. <laughs> Dry, wrinkled skin. Chipped and cracked oh. toenails. <laughs> Your whole look is depressing. What you need is a total makeover. Sorry, mister. I would rather look like a haggard old pachyderm than to use all those creams and cures, treatments and tighteners. The beauty industry has used and abused us animals for too long. Animal testing, animal ingredients, oils, enzymes, aphrodisiacs, fur coats. Oh, the killing, the waste, the ugliness. <laughs> beauty. Join us next week on the Apocalypse Channel, where we'll visit... It's inevitable. The next Ice Age is just around the corner. And today, we are going to prepare a 75-pound lobster. <laughs> One pound for every year of its life. <laughs> there you are, Ethel Doll! I've been around the globe and back looking for you. We have so much to do. Come on, girl, we have boulders to move, trees to fell, cargo to carry. Let's go, girl! Don't you remember your training? Simba, Simba, mum, belly, yo, 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 mum, bossa. Come on, doll, do it for Haji. What are we to do? Everything we've tried has failed. It's up to me now. I've got to talk to her once and for all. It's our only chance. Tell me, my dear Pachyderm, why must you stay here of all places? This is our only home. If you stay here, we'll have to leave. I realize this cause is a serious inconvenience for you. But right here, in the handbook, it clearly states that at the age of 147, all elephants must go to 769 White Oak Road to retire! <laughs> but this is 768 White Oak Road. 769 is next door. At least she's where she belongs. Poor oh dear. <laughs> Can we keep her, Mommy? Colleges. That's a uh, standard procedure with kids these days. Come in. Now, what do you see, Tom? A butterfly. Or, um, flowers in a meadow. Ooh, no, a, a beautiful kite. Yeah, that's it, a kite. Hmm, fine, very good. <laughs> uh, don't listen to him. He'll put us in the asylum. Give me those. That one, uh, a disemboweled chicken, uh, smoking entrails, a toad spit, <gasps> and this pearl phlegm. Okay, well, that too. Can we leave now? Who do you say thanks to? You know, I didn't steal that game. I'm innocent. What's more, he lies. <gasps> oh, what an adorable kid.
been looking for you guys all over. Hey, that class like was that awesome. Month, I can't wait to see it tomorrow. You. I'm trying to work on that new Here technique. Can you help me after school? One of those quizzes. Okay, I'll cool. You see you after class. Yeah, so fun. Damn it. I will count to five. One, two, three, four. Huh? Oh. But, but, uh, you didn't say five. I'm afraid even 55 wouldn't be enough. Very good, Kles. You can show yourselves now. Nobunaga flunked it again. I'm sorry, Nobunaga. But I have to give you an F on this assignment. You don't have to perform a miracle in order to disappear. Take Eisen, for example. Use what's around. Use your own <laughs> talents. Well done, Eisen. Whoa. <laughs> Wait. Please make sure you all remember the traditional class photo will be taken at 11.30 the day after tomorrow. So, be sure to study carefully. Study? Why does he want us to study to have a photograph taken? Are we supposed to practice parting our hair? Rehearse saying <laughs> cheese? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. As it's my ball, I set up the teams. I'm team captain, of course. Jimmy, you're... No, 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 no. I'm the team captain. For the other side. And Eisen... And Eisen goes to the principal's office to have this signed by our beloved principal. But... Now! Come in. What's the big deal? Yo, Pig! Don't hog the ball! <gasps> Sorry, bad choice of words. <laughs> Photos are the school's cherished memories, Eisen. But, uh, there's no one in them. Well, thankfully. Have you maybe forgotten the principal qualities of being a ninja? Efficiency and dis... Discretion. Exactly. The ball, Amy, the ball! Come on! <laughs>
students finds their image actually captured in a class photo is the day this school crashes and burns. Ah! <laughs> Sir, he kicked the ball it's and I. It's not true! He kicked it! I. As a wise man once said, it takes two to tango. So you can both go and buy a new Soji screen with your own money. But take this card with you. You'll get a 7% discount and I'll get bonus points on my account. Uh, get going. I want my Soji screen fixed before nightfall. And the rest of you, hmm? Aren't you supposed to be studying? We do have a class photo coming up. You must not fail. We're all counting on you. But there's no one in the picture! Are all the class photos like that? How come? This class photo thing, it's like a test. A ninja should never have their picture taken. Not ever. Our class photo has to be just like this one. Empty. I guess it's time for us to show off some of our proverbial ninja patience. <sighs> you know, there's really no need for both of us to wait in line. So you stay here and I'll get a soda. What? Hey! <gasps> this glass photo thing is no problem. All we have to do is disappear between the moment when the photographer says smile and watch the birdie. It'll be easy. We are ninjas, right? Mom will be very disappointed. She loves to see my lovely face on glossy paper. Yeah, because it's probably the only time she can see a version of you that isn't always talking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this class photo will be hard. Rats! Obvious Naga. I forgot about him. He can't be the first student to appear on a class photo in Shuriken School history. That would mean eternal shame for him and for us all. The poor guy. What? Ah! To answer your question, yes, I am a ninja. A pretty high level one, too. I brought one of my trainees here to stand in line so that he can learn the virtues of patience. Patience is very important for beginning ninjas like him. But I'm far more advanced than that. I've been trained to handle almost any kind of combat. All kinds of weapons, including staple guns, lemon seeds, and bamboo seeds. I've learned magic, too, but that's a whole different kind of training. <laughs> Reminds me of last week's workshop. You mean cooking on the barbecue? <laughs> That's it, now you're cooking. <clears throat> round and round we go, here we go. Grooving, moving, putting a show. Got a scratchy, scratchy there. Something here and there and there. Hey, you got some good moves. Would you mind if I take some notes? Hey, John Travolta, you dropped something! <laughs>